Tighter print runs for Magic the Gathering sealed products seems like a great idea, but it's only a great idea if you're not the one getting your order cancelled. It's a fast and furious day in the world of Magic the Gathering. Welcome back everyone. MTG Moxman here and thanks again for hanging out with me on my channel today. A uh, reminder, if you enjoyed today's content, if you want to see more Moxman, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, new content every single day. So yes, we have all heard the rumors and stuff about tighter print runs for Magic the Gathering products. From what I hear, it's actually happening, okay? That's from like distribution level through the stores that it's not a big deal. Tighter print runs, but the stores aren't ordering as much. There's a bigger cash flow issues ever since the 30th anniversary stuff where players and stores got burned really bad. Stores have never fully gone back. This is known things we know about. But what happens when all these tighter print run stories start going around and they become a reality, which of course will bring up values over time. It generally will be better for the well-being for players who think they're spending too much. It, it works well in the market economy of Magic the Gathering. But what can also happen is there are those unexpected consequences, like we saw with its raining cats and dogs. It sold out instantly, right? It was, it was just so fast. But the super drop with all those errors, you know, the sorcery card and all that stuff that didn't work out well, those are still available. So depending on the product though, with the tighter print runs, things could possibly sell out. And when things sell out and there is still a desire for that product, you are going to see prices start rising on individual cards within those products, as well as the actual sealed product itself. This is something that is going to happen because we've seen it happen before. It's a known factor of collecting Magic the Gathering cards that when Wizards of the Coast tightens and squeezes the print run of any product, if it's a well-made product that players want, you're going to have to pay more to get it. There'll be scalpers and people trying to corner the market and make some cash out of it. Okay, it's, just, it's the way it is. Now, we haven't had this issue for quite a while on a lot of products because Wizards kind of just made it available to everybody. That game piece era that everyone talks about, you hear it all kinds of YouTube content creators, the game pieces have really caused a devalue of a whole bunch of the game itself where a lot of people who were investing or putting big money in have left the game, and this has left Wizards a little bit cash poor. So they've decided to reverse things and tighten up the market. Tighten the straps and say, let's bring the value up. But now we have other issues with the tighter print run, and of course, like we just mentioned, tighter cash flow for stores who got burned on previous products. It's not like Wizards gave them a refund. All those products sitting on their store shelves just aren't moving. It's sitting there month after month, being devalued every single time, especially with all the reprints we've seen. Now let's get to more modern things. You saw that front little thumbnail. You've stuck around this long. We're talking about Fallout. I had somebody on my Discord make a comment that their order for Fallout had been cancelled for the collector boxes. When I looked into it and started emailing around to a whole bunch of my stores, and it took a while to get the answers throughout the day, everyone's busy, I get it, I started hearing more and more about small orders being cancelled. Now by small orders, I don't mean the person who ordered one or two boxes. I mean smaller stores that didn't have a big order coming in, they had to end up cancelling because a few people showed interest, they didn't take it off their website quick enough, and they got people overbuying at previous price points. So if it was set at a certain price, we'll say, I don't know, 300 bucks Canadian for a collector box of Fallout. And what ends up happening is they, you know, expected to sell four because, you know, it's a different world we live in. They bought six and they sold eight. Well, four people are being canceled because they weren't quick enough to react or the price was too good. There's a few reasons it's happening. But all these stores said when they checked in with distribution, their orders are coming. Their stuff is still available and getting to their players. But anyone who ordered after what they already had allocated to the store, they've had to cancel. So yes, this is a side effect of what can happen, which means the first come first serve rule may apply. Pre-ordering may actually be important again. And we've talked about that about five months ago. I did a couple of videos on that saying when the tighter print runs do start to show up, there will be the haves and have nots. There will be players who miss out 
on some of these products just because of the fact stores don't have the cash flow anymore. They're not going to carry a big massive load of product that they get saddled with six months after the release. They're not going to risk it guys. It's not the way it's going to be. So if you don't put your pre-order in fast enough that they can get it to distribution, there will be players that miss out on these products and the tighter print runs means it may not even be available for some players to buy. And that's an entirely other side factor you have to think about. If Wizards thinks they're gonna sell 5,000 boxes, just 5,000, we're gonna use a small number here, and they end up selling 3,500, well next time they're not gonna put 5,000, they're gonna put 4,500. They're gonna to try to tighten the warehouse space they have to allocate for any leftover product. while trying to get it out the door as quick as they can. But if a product gets hot, and they've only allocated now 4,500 because previous sets said they didn't need that many. And all of a sudden you sell 10,000, nothing's going to happen that set. They can't react to it. There might be a reprint, depending, but it more likely than not, they'll look at the next set and instead of 45, they'll make it six. This actually happened way back when we did Battle for Zendikar. When this thing hit the market, especially with the fat packs, previous fat packs hadn't sold well. They weren't a well-sold product. So nobody really cared. But when this got spoiled, that it had the full art lands, which were very expensive back then. They were like three or four bucks a land. And they had a whole bunch inside the set, plus the chance for expeditions. It went through the roof. And I think there was only something like 100,000 or 200,000 made in total. So people were hunting these things down, including myself. I bought a whack load because I believed at the time that those secondary market lands were going to have a lot of value. I'd make a real killing off of this product and it would be fantastic. Well, you can see it didn't really turn out that way because the market has shifted and Wizards went a whole bunch of full art lands and everything got devalued. But it's a, just a side note about watching what you buy. But now back to this. Now it's coming around to that again where they want things to have a secondary market value that's higher. Wizards is not going to turn on a dime for people just because they start complaining. They actually want some of these complaints. They want people to say, do you know I tried to buy cats and dogs and it sold out it was gone in like a few hours um i went to buy it on the secondary market on tcg player and i had to pay more any type of bad news is still news it still gets the company in the limelight the fact there was demand for a product only serves to further their purpose and goal of adding value to the market of collectible cards remember that because that's where they're going with this now when you jump ahead to something like fallout the commander decks seem to be totally fine. It's the collector boxes that seem to have the tighter allocation and some people's orders being canceled. Now, I don't know what that means long term because I checked the large LGSs I have here in Toronto, things like Face to Face, uh, Harry Tarantula, uh, 401 Games, and I'll tell you right now, they all have it in stock. So it does mean that you know these players who had their orders canceled can buy it from a secondary source that may be the way they have to go. They may have to hit a bigger city. They may have to go on TCG player and have it shipped out. Although I don't think there was any for sale when I looked on TCG that were shipping to Canada, obviously. Maybe even Amazon if you want to take the risk of repacks and getting your stuff stolen and hacked. I mean, you may have no choice depending on how bad you want the product. But this is all news that Wizards of the Coast was probably anticipating and expecting based on what they've seen the last couple of orders for their products. They tightened it up enough to put a bit of a squeeze on the player base. Just to let you know, yeah, we're still here. Don't forget it. When we turn off the taps and you want a product, you now can't get it. We know they're not going to reprint the collector boxes, which means are we going to see some FOMO event right now with Fallout? I don't expect it. There may be an initial kind of freak out, initially, but these kind of things always seem to calm down and sort themselves out if you're patient enough. So Keep that in mind before you go spending a massive amount of money on a product that if you wait a little while, will come back down to earth. It's still a universe is beyond product. And like the other products that we've seen, all of them have calmed down over time. We saw craziness with Lord of the Rings and that's like as bad as it's going to get, it seems okay. Even if you go back to original collector boxes like Throne of Eldraine, you can get a box, a collector box of the very first ever collector box made, Throne of Eldraine for less than 500 bucks. So they're all available, guys. It just takes a little time for the market to work itself out. Let the Timmies overspend and just focus on yourself and keeping your finances in check. This product will be available. And yes, some people will get their orders canceled, 
But if people stay rational and stay calm and don't think the world and the sky is falling, you will get the product maybe a little bit later than everyone else, but you will get the product, okay? Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. Thanks for being here on the channel and listen to the Moxman Go. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Drop some comments in the comment section. I'd love to see if there's more people out there getting some orders canceled with some of the stores I don't probably deal with. It'd be great to know. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you all tomorrow. Oh yeah, you're here, guys. You're at the end. You're seeing all the amazing supporters this channel has showing the love and support and making sure that daily uploaded content from the Moxman makes it out into the YouTube universe. Thanks again to my patrons and YouTube membership members. See you tomorrow. Okay, you've made it to the Ramble Jamble. You're here at the end. The coffee is like three quarters done. I did a double video thing today. Um, you're going to see a video in a little while, and it's going to be in our box opening video for 401 Games. It's like box two of Murders at Karlov Manor, so I hope you guys enjoy that box video. Thanks again. Watch it all the way through. Cute little stuff in there. Um, now, we're here at the end here because what's interesting is I, I've may have, I may have reached out to a few of the people I deal with, and I asked about upcoming sets like Bloomborough and stuff. The stores have no intention of ordering more. Remember that. Even if they think it's going to be more popular, they're not going to double down and waste the money. They want to see the pre-order money coming in to cover it. So if there's a product you really want this year, you may actually have to like put down the hard-earned dollars and take the risk because it's not going to be on the store if something goes wrong anymore. They're not taking it. This is going to be a bit of a Wild West Thunder Junction type deal. And if you made it that far into the video, well, this is not the utter end. This is more Boomstick Edition, and you can put the Necronomicon to page 416. Yeah, Boomstick Edition. All right, guys, thanks a lot for hanging out. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. I'm going to go make myself, yep, you guessed it, nachos and cheese.